Hello everybody and welcome back to another tutorial. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up audio volumes. Now this is an easier way in my opinion than using occlusion because sometimes, not always, but sometimes occlusion can be a little bit finicky um, and it can either break or not quite work the way you expect it. So, as we can hear right now, we can hear them birds tweeting away, probably planning to take over the world. But if we go inside, in this amazing modelled house, because, you know, yeah. We can hear that the volume from outside is now nice and quiet. If we go back out, we can hear the birds tweeting again. Okay, so, how do we do it? So the first thing we're going to ignore the errors. The first thing we're going to do is set up a, an audio volume. So we're going to select all of our walls. I'm going to make another. That was clever, wasn't it? There we go. I'm going to select all of our walls. I absolutely deselected. I could have just done Control Z, but you know, wasn't thinking. Um, and this one. There we go. So we should have all of those walls. I'm going to select this one as well. This one, yep. Yeah. I'm going to move that over. So we're going to have a doorway here. In our quick add to scene, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to go down to all classes. It is there, but that's only because I recently placed it. So we're going to go down to all, sorry, volumes. And in volumes, we're going to select audio volume going to drag and drop that in we can see here we have a little square now we need to space this out so it covers the internal part of the building so something like that and then stretch that out so it goes to the back there we go and stretch that out this way as well bring that up that should be fine as is Bring that down a little bit so your audio volume needs to fill the room of where you want to occlude the sound from the outside this can work both ways so you can have the you can have it go quiet when you go in or you can have it become louder you can adjust how quickly it falls off the sound or how quickly it comes back on or how how quickly it adjusts those audio levels so now that we have our amazing minecraft style looking brick house we we have our audio volume in but there's a couple of things that we need to, well maybe three or so things that we need to add to get it to work properly so we need to add a sound so let's add a sound to the scene so we'll copy this one i don't know why i copied it i could have just deleted or just changed it but we're going to add a sound in so you're going to go to your panel do audio find the, the, the audio sound that you want you're going to drag and drop so actually I'll, I'll do that so we're going to find the order that we want so I'm going to drag and drop this into the level I'm going to set it to 2 so you can hear the volume a little bit better not 25 don't want to blow my eardrums out okay so now that it's on 2 and we have our audio volume in so let's get rid of this and we'll get rid of all of this as well these ones yeah just so there's less confusion okay so now we have our audio volume in and we have the sound that we want to occlude what we need to do now is set up a sound class so I'm gonna go back to the folder where I'm doing my tutorial video just in here and we need to add one of these so we're gonna right click we're gonna go to sounds we're gonna go down to classes we're gonna add a sound class so when you add that, you'll end up with this. You're going to double click on this and you're going to scroll down with your eyes until you see apply ambient volumes. This will enable the any sound that, that has the sound class added into its properties. This will enable that audio to be affected by the ambient volumes. So we're going to apply ambient volumes in. So that will be default off we're going to apply that save it go back into our level we're going to click on the sound that we want to apply that to we're going to type class in the search bar 
and then when we see sound class override we want to add our sound class oops we're going to add our sound class here so when you scroll down you'll see sound class override add our sound class and then on our audio volume <coughs> we can see that we have this panel here ambient uh, ambient zone settings we can see that we have um, exterior volume so any sound that is not inside the volume so any sound on the outside uh, this is the volume that it will be so it's this is currently set to 2 just so we can hear it better so if I set this to 0.1 and then go into the game you can hear that the volume is quite loud but when I go inside the volume is now quiet and when I go back out again the volume is loud so this is a quick and simple way to set up audio volumes in Unreal Engine if you have any questions about it let me know there are other settings that you can play around with and um, I'm not going to go into too much detail on it because I could be here all day and then I'll go on a tangent and then I'll I'll never get anything done um, but yeah so you've got your exterior volume <coughs> exterior time is how much time it takes for the uh, audio volume to change so if you do let's say uh, one second it will take one second for it to reach that point one so it falls off a little bit slower so if I do two seconds so let's click on my audio volume we'll set that to let's say two seconds and we will do play so it falls off over two seconds so have a play around with that uh, let me know what you think in the comments if you've got any tips for me if I've missed something that I should have done let me know I'm always willing to learn um, but if you like the video like it if you dislike it at least let me know why I mean I'm just trying to help people with the tutorials there's not much to dislike about that but if you don't like it that's fair enough but yeah so like share and subscribe to help support the channel I'll keep supporting you guys thanks very much for watching take care bye bye for now I'll see you in the next one